Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Dressed already? I better start supper. No hurry, Mom. He's still in the shower. How come you two aren't gabbling together? Oh, he locked me out. Mm, coming to his senses. I tickled him, Mama. He's got the patience of Job, your husband. Oh, I don't see what's so wonderful having patience. Sometime try marrying a man without it. I'm married now, thank you. Stop walking around like a lost puppy, Claudia. You're making me dizzy. I'm waiting for David. Have you seen my glasses? Where'd you put them? If I knew, would I be asking you? Mm, you might. Don't get up, Mom. I'll look for them. Are they in the kitchen? I'll look for them myself. It'll be less trouble. Really? You can't ever let anybody do anything for you, can you? Anybody, yes. You, no. I don't trust you. Wait till David hears. David will understand. Hey, where are you going? Into the kitchen to look for my glasses. Do you mind? Yes, I do. Here they are. Where were they? Right there, under David's shirt. How did they get there, I wonder? Oh, I can't imagine, Mama. Got that cuff fixed yet? Well, I thought I had, but... Doesn't look right somehow. Give it here. I'll fix it. Claudia, I'd rather do it myself than have David walking around with one cuff two inches shorter than the other. But he's my husband. Still better reason. Look, you just show me how I've got to learn sometime, Mama. Besides, it's all your fault. My fault? Well, a mother's supposed to prepare a daughter for marriage. Cooking, sewing. You you know all the femininely things. Nobody can tell you anything. Not even that femininely is not a word. Well, you understood what I said, didn't you? Have it. Now, watch carefully. I'm watching. First, Claudia, you're breathing down my neck. How can I watch otherwise? Come over here. We'll sit on the sofa. Now, first you edge the sleeve part. Then you sew it what on. Have you two got your heads together over? Your sleeve. Mom is showing me how. How what? Put something up? <laughs> Put it together, silly. Hey, what'd you do in that shirt anyway? I stretch, if you don't mind. I do mind. In the future, David, please stretch before and after your shirt. It's <laughs> terrible to sew. Another one of the sacrifices of marriage. Huh. Stretching only before and after. Uh, Claudia, I can't see with you leading over me like that. Well, I can't see if I don't, Mama. David, do me a favor. Lock her in, would you? Come over here, darling. Your mother doesn't appreciate you. <laughs> only child she has, too. My, you feel nice and cool and smooth now. What'd you put on? What do you mean, what'd I put on? Your hair. Same stuff. Water. Nice. I wouldn't buy anything else. Cheap, too. Here you are, David. All done. Oh, thank you, Mother. What do I owe you? You couldn't afford it. Now, where are you going? To get dinner ready. Can't you sit still just a minute? Sewing, cooking. Come on, on Mother. Take it easy a while. It won't take me any time at all. Say, I'll get dinner tonight. Oh, no, you won't. Then, since you're so stubborn, I'll tell you what. What? I have an idea. What? We'll go out. We'll do nothing of the kind. I've got a perfectly good steak in the icebox. Oh, it'll keep. Why should it? Because I like to eat out. I like to eat out, too. It's a waste of money. Hush up, Mama. Do you, David? Where do you like to eat? You know, I like I like funny little restaurants where nobody else goes. Not me. Oh, I suppose you like those places where the, 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 the menu's in handwriting, in purple ink. Mm-hmm, and where the chairs are all armchairs, carpets, too. Oh, I was afraid of that. It was too good to be true. What? That we both like to eat out. Now we'll never be able to decide where to go. You just rest your mind at ease, darling. We'll decide. Mama, which kind do you... Really, that woman, she went into the kitchen again. Do we have to watch you every minute? Claudia, let's really go out tonight. What do you say? I'd love to, David. She's been working awfully hard. Come on. We'll go tell her. Mama? Mama, put down that pan. Stop ordering me around like a chef, Claudia. You heard her, Mother. Put it down. Mm-hmm. We are stepping out tonight. What is all this nonsense? No nonsense at all. We're celebrating. What are we celebrating? Listen to her, David. She pretends she doesn't know what. I repeat, 
What? Your birthday, of course. Of course. Your birthday. You know perfectly well my birthday's in January. Oh, nonsense. You know as well as we do it's tonight. Claudia, do you think we ought to break the news to Mama that she's a year older, three months too soon? See, that's right. I didn't think of that. Mama, do you mind being older sooner? <laughs> I'd rather be younger later. <laughs> Say, I know what we'll do. We'll celebrate your last birthday tonight. Right. That makes you, uh, let's see, nine months younger tonight than you will be in three months. <laughs> that settled it. So put on your best bib and tucker, and we're off to celebrate. Come I've on. had enough of this birthday already. Where we go? You leave that to me. The best restaurant in town. Are you too serious? Of course we are. It's your birthday, isn't it? We've got to eat out. A normal person hasn't a chance around here. Normal? What fun is normal? Hey, come on, David. You have to button me up the back. What did you do before we were married? I struggled. <laughs> and hurry up, Mama. We're going to give you a wonderful birthday party. David, how much longer do you think we'll have to stand in line? I'll give them uh, two more minutes. At my house, no standing in line. Personally, I find the backs of people's heads fascinating, don't you, David? Hmm? Don't I what? I find the backs of heads fascinating. Say, look, there are only seven people ahead of us now. At my house, we're first. Well, if you'd wear tails and stiff front, front shirts when you serve, Mrs. Brown, I wouldn't mind eating at your house. You two would be lucky if I ever let you have another glass of water at my house. Oh, your house, your house. Uh-uh, see, it sounds as if you're the only person who'd ever had a house. Have you? No, but we will on Friday, won't we, David? We will what? Ouch, my shoe hurts. Stand on the other foot. Your name, please. Uh, Norton. And how many in the party, Miss Norton? Three. We'll take care of you in a few moments, Mrs. Norton, right after this party. No, thank you. Say, look, three people are leaving. Don't point. It's rude. David, tell him we're next. I will not. Mama, I had to marry a man with principles. And no regard for his mother-in-law's health. Here he comes, David. Tell him. Go on. It wouldn't do us any good. These things are organized. Uh, right this way, Mr. Norton. They have a table for you right over there. Ah. You see? Virtue is its own reward, Mrs. Brown. I'm sorry we kept you waiting so long, Mr. Norton. I wish I had known it was you. No. Quite all right. Quite all right. Uh, here we are. Thank you very much. I'll send the waiter over with the menu, Mr. Norton. Thank you. David, who is you? I don't know. It's funny, Mama. All David said was who he was, and, and look at us sitting down. David, I wish you told me what your name was so effective. I'd have married you myself. <laughs> you wouldn't have had your Mama, would you, David? Well, she might be helpful around the house. David, how do you suppose we got this table? Hell, all those other people. Oh, I'm a very distinguished-looking husband, Mrs. Norton. I think that. Claudia thinks that, David. I had no idea the head waiter thought that. I'll tell you a secret. What? I think he thinks I'm Hartley. Hartley? Yeah. When I gave him my name, Norton, it probably struck a bell. Hartley Norton, you know. That rings a bell in the best restaurants in New York. Well, I'm no longer impressed. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, so am I. A little. <laughs> Actually, though, I, I think it's very funny. Funny? At my house, you can eat, even if you aren't anybody's brother. Hush up, Mama. Yeah, no odious comparisons allowed on your birthday. You know that. What's the good of a birthday? Here are the menus, Mr. Norton. Uh, we'll call when we're ready to order. That'll be fine, sir. Purpling, handwriting, just as I thought. Here, Mama, your glasses. I remembered, see? Mm -hmm. Now, ladies, now try to make up your minds. What'll it be? Not so fast, David. There's so much to read here. I don't know why it's so much fancier to write than to type. Mama, look. What's the matter, Claudia? Look at the prices. I've been looking at them. I've decided David is absolutely crazy. Steak, four fifty a piece. Mama, how much is that steak at home? Two thirty seven for the three of us. David, did you hear that? No, I'm not interested. Four fifty nine twelve. Twelve fifty just for steak for us. Thirteen fifty. Steak all right with you, mother? I should say not. It's stick in my throat. I'm having the salad. You are not. Steak, it's settled. Steak is a birthday dish. Thirteen fifty, Mama. How long does thirteen fifty feed us? A few days, and very well too. We're paying for the carpets and the music. You know that, don't you, David? Well, uh, let's see. Steak and what else? Nothing else. Steak and baked potatoes, asparagus and salad. All right, David. You don't have to show off for me or Claudia. You know, we're married to you already. <laughs> is this or is this not your birthday, Mother? It is not. Then that settles it. No more discussion. What are you going to do? You'll see. Waiter. Oh, waiter. You wish to order? Yes. Three turtle soups, three medium-rare steaks with baked potato, 
asparagus, and mixed green salad. David. I won't hear another word on the subject. Probably. It's not about that. Then what is it? Onions. Don't forget the onions. Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, waiter, French fried onions with each, please. Oh, onions. But of course. I'll bring the soup, sir. Thank you. Well, Mama, what do you think of your birthday party? You really want to know what I think? Of course I do. Don't you, David? Mm, well. I think, Claudia, that you married a very superior man. Darling. Hmm? You sleeping, David? Hmm. Good night. Good night. David. Mm. D- d- do you think Mama was pleased? What do you think? I think she was very. Mm. That's what I think. You know, she never says things, not to me anyway. But that's how I can tell. Sure. Good night, darling. David. Mm. What now, Claudia? Just one more thing. <laughs> All right. All right, go on. You know, I agree with Mama. What about? I think you're a very superior man, too. So do I. You do? Why, you conceited person. But of course I do. I've thought so ever since the day you asked me to marry you. You mean you think that I... Of course, of course. Who cares? We're married now. That's all that matters. And all that ever will matter, David. Now, this is for good, darling. Good night. David. Oh, turn over and go to sleep, Claudia. Someday when we're very rich, darling. Do you think Mom would mind having two birthdays every year? story material used in this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. Have you noticed, folks, that there's more Coca-Cola available? Once more, when you step up to the familiar red cooler and ask for a cold bottle of Coke, you're pretty sure to get it. Now you can enjoy the pause that refreshes by yourself or with a friend. Yes, there is more Coke now. It's the same Coke as always, and the price is still five cents. Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause... The pause that refreshes.